All right, this is Kevin Cook. Thank you for coming back to Heavy Construction Equipment Podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about things one should avoid in the construction business. And again, this episode has been sponsored by me. Are you looking for good, used, quality equipment? Then come to our website at www.startractor.com. And are you looking for great Caterpillar apparel, hats, shoes, shirts, jackets, uh, anything, uh, boots, uh, tennis shoes, stuff like that with the cat logo, then come to this website, which is affiliate link at www.heavyequipmentarticles.com forward slash cat hats. All right, here we go on to podcast. Every business has certain norms, and the guys and gals who are conducting the business need to follow those norms religiously. People have to follow those norms as it is, at, at it is and the things are not allowed just to be practiced in reality. Apart from that, there are certain things that are advised to do and a few things that one should avoid doing. In the construction industry, there are many things that one should simply avoid because if they try to do that, it will lead to serious complications. Again, you know, follow the rules. You know, make sure you don't take shortcuts, especially in construction. Because it could really hurt you or the equipment or someone you love or or a friend. Next, breaching the law of the land. In the construction business, you will come along people who are in order to do simple things from themselves to not abide by law. They take the chance, but in the end, they always pay the price for it. To go against the law of the land is something that you should av- always avoid doing, <laughs> period. If there are certain rules that lay- laid to conduct business, it becomes moral duty of others to follow those rules, right from taking the sanctions to the building houses as per the limit laid by the law. You know, you know do what's right. One should follow every minute one should follow every minute thing. Remember, you are always being watched, and if you play the fool, you will get caught, and someday or other, or once you get caught, you have to end up losing your business license, your job, your customers, everything. You know, just don't do it. It is recommended that you do not enter that zone. Next, securing your job site. One should have enough security measures to secure the job site from mysterious, mischievous elements. You have heavy equipment that are rested at the, at the beginning of the job site. So you don't want anybody to mess with your heavy equipment. Heavy equipment are rested at the night and there are chances that someone could break in your job site in the death of the night and can steal your machines. You know, make sure you got GPSs on it. Heavy equipment are heavy are expensive items and they come with good value on the gray market. You should avoid taking chances. Hire some good good security personnel who can guard the uh, job site and once everybody has left the site, you know, install cameras in key locations and it is not feasible for security personnel to Keep a watch every corner on the site. With the help of cameras, the guys and gals can do the marvelous job and keep a watch on all their items. Moreover, you are, can have the number of equipment present at the site. That will help the guys and gals to take account at the beginning of the day and also at the end of the shift. So the security is something that you should never think to avoid. You know, always have security on your site. You know, add GPS in your machines also, you know, but hide it. Next, take important decisions without consulting others. Important business decisions should be taken keeping the management in the loop. Moreover, their feedback also matters at the lot, you know, top. You know, taking important decisions without letting management know about it it can have severe communications issues within the organization and can become really nasty. You should avoid making these decisions and mistakes. And lastly, financial uh, 
mess ups, basically ir- irregular abilities. You know, you know irregularities. You know, you need to make sure the money's all there. Any kind of nat- financial irregularities should be avoided at any cost. To avoid this, one should keep a track on the accounts on a monthly basis and question if he or she finds some suspicious or questionable items on there. Finance is very important in the construction industry and has the ability to eat you up that might the business that entrepreneur is in no days. You know, basically, you, you don't want to have no finances present. You know, you have all that money saved for a job. You need to keep it towards your eyes all the time. Keep an eye on it. So it's better that you take care of this at the bottom level, you know? Take care of it meal, you know? Don't just play it off. Again, if you got any questions, give me a general. 817-733-3799. Thank you, and God bless.